Hi and welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the seventh episode of season three of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called Revelations. You can check out the full reaction for this video on my Patreon channel along with lots of other goodies. Check out the link in the description below. Last time we saw the school selling candy to raise money for the school band. Unfortunately it was being produced by Ethan Rain at the request of the mayor. The candy made all of the adults in the town behave like teenagers. This made them less responsible, so that the mayor could carry out his plan of providing a tribute to a demon he wanted to appease. We discovered that the tributes were babies from the local hospital. As you do. We saw Willow and Xander still showing secret affection for each other, loving this storyline. Buffy managed to stop the sacrifice and save the babies, which annoyed the mayor. Buffy's mum and Giles had also been affected by the candy, and once they'd returned to normal, we discovered that they may have acted on some of their teenage urges whilst under the influence of it. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here, and at the end of the reaction I'll be discussing what happened and my thoughts about it. And I'm going to start it in three, two, one. We don't have any seats. It's okay, I'll just scrunch in. Could it look any more awkward? Anyone notice Buffy acting sort of different? Because of Angel. You know, she's off by herself a lot more. And she's kind of distracted. A boyfriend? You would have thought, they're, they're obviously noticing she's behaving differently and something's going on. After she left, and then she's returned, and things were weird when they returned, and you would have thought they'd be talking to her a bit more about it. Um, just if they think it's weird, say so after all of that, it just I don't know. It just seems a bit odd that they're just. I know they're talking about it now to themselves, but um, if they think there's something odd going on, I just would have thought they'd have brought it up with her. From the experience they've had, it would make sense to do that. Are you dating somebody or not? I wouldn't use the word dating. Oh. But I am going out with somebody. Tonight, as a matter of fact. Really? Who? Yeah, what's up? Ah. Really, we're just good friends. Not going to tell you what's going through my head at the moment. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. We're seeing Giles there watching both of them at work. <laughs> I mean, the vampires don't normally have a choice, a chance with just one of them. There are two of them. <laughs> nice. Synchronized lane, new Olympic category. <laughs> you telegraph punches, leave blind sides open, and uh, for a school night's laying, take entirely too much time. Gwendolyn Post, Mrs. Watcher. British accent had to be. <laughs> when Jan Giles looks a bit surprised. <laughs> Don't think he knew she was coming. So specifically, Faith's new watcher. I'm assuming from the way that they were fighting and what Buffy said that Faith's becoming a bit more of a, a team player because she wasn't before in the way she fights. Although they were fighting independently there. There didn't seem to be any... Uh, working together apart from the synchronized slade at the end. I can assure you, Mrs. Post, this is the finest occult reference collection. This side of the Atlantic, I'm sure. Do you have Hume's Paranormal Encyclopedia? I got that. Amazon had three copies left, last time I looked. Faith needs a watcher. I am to act in that capacity and report back. Excuse me, Mary Poppins. <laughs> Fact is, there is talk in the council that you have become a bit too American. Me? Him? <laughs> no, in America. Perhaps later. Lagos seeks the glove of Minigan. She's acting like a superior. Lagos must be stopped. We believe the glove to be buried in a tomb somewhere, so Lagos will be headed for the cemetery. There is more than one in Sunnydale. Anything in your books that might pinpoint the exact location? Yeah, that's the first thing. Find out where it is. But then we cannot ask for miracles. Ooh. She's got the British sarcasm down, hasn't she? That was bracing. <laughs> Interesting lady. Can we kill her? <laughs> Not 
that's cool. So she's doing it as well. Oh, but she's not as focused. Is she watching because she's copying him, or is she looking because she's just looking at Angel? That's not going to help her focus. Is this real or dream? Real. Better hurry before somebody figures out what we're doing. What are we doing? Hmm. He does seem back to normal now. Bad, bad. Habit to be broken. It's hard. Thing is, I'm assuming the curse that Willow cast back on him is exactly the same one that was cast before. That's my assumption. Which means if they can never be together because it'll happen all over again. So this is a really bad idea them hanging out like this and then doing the the Tai Chi and um, put his arms around her. I mean, yeah, as she said, the, she needs to go because obviously the, they're both having feelings for each other. Well, that's not a good thing for him to have at the moment. So, yeah, it's just never going to work. So it's a really bad idea them getting closer like this. And they both know it. And I know it's easier said than done if you're in love with someone. Um, yeah, it's hard to stay away but yeah i'm gonna try and vent a little hormonal angst by going out there and killing a lagos whatever that is lagos angel seems to remember it be careful that seemed to ring a bell with him but is he trying to remember because it was so long ago for him hmm, seems on a mission there's not a word here about the lagos or the glow we don't have time for this google it Hey, you're not the watcher of me. <laughs> then go home, but if you choose to stay, then work. That's fair. Yeah, if you're going to be there, if you're going to be there, then help. And he's just told you how you can help. He did it in a, an abrupt way, but um, yeah, if, if, if you just go hang around and not do anything, what's the point in being there? So, yeah, that's fair ish. A member of a qualified surgeon to remove the British flag from his butt. <laughs> Oh, this isn't going to be weird now the two of them together, hidden behind the books. Oh, oh that's it. Give her a massage. Yeah. Oh. Willow, stand there. You can stop if you're uh, studying. I've got what I need. Mm. Part of me wishes he'd s seen them. It's uh, housed in the von Hauptmann family crypt. Okay, at least they can know where to watch now. Well, I'll go check out this uh, crypt. Um, There's no point in him checking out the crypt. They need to find Buffy and, and uh, Faith and get them both there. That's where the demons go in. But, but Shady Hill's pretty close. I'll swing through it some other way anyway. Alone? She's a slayer, mind you. So is Kendra. Sounds like someone coming up to his oh sewer, I was gonna say. Oh, he seems pretty solid. Oh He's got a hell of a punch. Is that Lagos, whatever his name is? So this is where the glove apparently is in one of the crypts. Hey Giles, here's a nifty idea. Why don't I alleviate my guilt by going out and getting myself really, really killed? Yep, that was a silly idea. Oh. Oh, and of course, Xander seeing him. Ah. Oh, he's going to immediately think the worst, which, to be fair, you would. Is he going to follow him? Oh, oh is he going to see... Angel and Buffy. He is, isn't he? This is probably the worst possible way this could come out. Which, of course, means it's the best way for television. 
I'm sure he'll keep it quiet and be um, respectful to her about it. Yeah, he's going to blab to everyone. Oh, God. Buffy. What am I doing? I, I don't even know why I came back here. Yeah, you do. I think I have what you're looking for. Great. Just wherever this was gift wrapped, remind me not to shop. <laughs> Mummies are us. Glove of Minigod. Yes. Once you put it on, the glove can never be removed. So it looks like you put your, your hand in, and then those things sort of clasp on. Oh, Look pretty sharp, so they'll sort of dig into your arm. So, yeah, you can never remove it because it would rip your arm off, I would assume. Um, yeah, that's a hell of a glove. I think they're a matching set, though, wouldn't you? One for each hand. Look, you know, look a bit nicer. Aesthetics. You hold on to it. I'll, I'll tell Giles in the morning. Oh, pointy fingers as well. What does it do? Pictures are fun to look at, Mr. Giles, but one really ought to read the nice words as well. She's lovely, isn't she? I know that you must find me tiresome. Yeah. Bless you. A person slips up on the little things, and soon everything's gone to hell in a handbasket. And I am in complete control of Wesleyer. Giles! With a big bra. Oh! Will you excuse us? <laughs> Why did she remove the tea bag from the cup? Would you like some assistance? Thank you. It won't be necessary. Was that a bit of a, there are different ways of making tea at the British. There's, um, uh, there's, I won't say arguments, but disagreements about whether you uh, put the tea in first and the milk in afterwards, or the milk in first and then the tea. Um, so the way Giles did it, she did the opposite. So I'm assuming it was kind of like a dig that she even does tea proper uh, compared to Giles. That's what I'm guessing. I put tea in afterwards. Uh, sorry, uh, the milk in afterwards. So tea first, tea bag, hot water, uh, and then the milk. That's the way I do it. That's the way I enjoy it. Don't know what's the right way, but I like it. Which is all that matters, really. Oh, he looks furious. Oh, of course they're all there. She should have told them, but this isn't. Good way of doing it. We know Angel is alive. Sandra saw you with him. I feel worried. About me. <laughs> Last time around, Angel barely laid a hand on Buffy. He was way more interested in killing her friends. What is this? Demons Anonymous? I don't need an intervention here. <laughs> That's good. He must have known it was wrong seeing Angel. He wouldn't have hidden it from all of us. Yeah. <clears throat> that is true. I'm going to tell you. I was. It, it was just that I, I... I didn't know why he came back. They could have helped. For what? For Angel to go psycho again the next time you give him a happy? Nice way of putting it. But you were kissing him. They're not wrong. What gives you the right to suck face with your demon lover again? It was an accident. What, you just tripped <laughs> Fell on his face. <laughs> if I thought for a second that Angel was going to hurt anyone... You would stop him. Like you did last time with Miss Catholic. Oh... Just love an excuse to hurt him, wouldn't you? I don't need an excuse. I think lots of dead people actually constitutes a reason. Right. This is all nobility, and this has nothing to do with jealousy. It does a bit. But he's not completely wrong. Priority right now is to retrieve the glove of Minigan and try to destroy it. Now all of you back to your classes. He's been too calm. He must be like a time bomb inside at the moment. Thanks for the bail in there. Oh, no. Angel did find the glove, and that was a, a good... But sadly, I must remind you that Angel tortured me. Yeah. It was I'm jealous. You should have told me he was alive. You didn't. Yeah, she should. You have no respect for me or the job I performed. Yeah, that was... That was going to happen. I can... I can see it from all sides. Um, I understand why Buffy didn't tell them at first. But in the last couple of episodes, he's we've seen him get better and more himself. And certainly now he seems 
almost back to normal. Um, I don't think there'd be an argument for keeping it hidden now or just before this episode. Um, so, yeah, she should have told them. But I do understand why she didn't. Um, she probably worried about this happening. But now it has. And I knew that's how Giles was going to react. And completely understandably. And how they all react. To be fair to them, and even Xander, um, <laughs> which are not normally. They are right. What Cordelia, Cordelia, what Cordelia said was right. Um, and Jealous went after her friends. They are all at risk. Yeah, he's Angel, not Angelus, but they don't know that. They still have that worry and fear, so I do understand. Although, Xander obviously said things and did it in a bad way, um, in his way. He could have handled it better, but uh, yeah. But I do understand. Whoa! A word of advice. Vampires rarely knock, especially in day And yeah, daytime. I'm going to be very hard on you, Faith. You will probably hate me a great deal of the time. You think? <laughs> Mission accomplished. You have to trust that I am right. You need to prove you're right first. Let's blindly trust her. But that is not important. Let him have his games and secret meetings. What meetings? Oh. Have something with Buffy and her friends. Oh, right. right. I guess that doesn't include me. Right. It looks like she did that on purpose. She's trying to split Faith from the others. She said that to put that seed in Faith's mind that they're having secret meetings without her. She's not part of the group. She's not included. That was done on purpose. So... She's either, the, this Watcher is either a, <clears throat> I mean, she is Faith's Watcher, so she's either doing it to separate Faith, just to keep, so she can look after her and keep her, uh, just train her and forget the others, get rid of them, or she's a bad guy, and she's doing this on purpose to separate her. Uh. Would you like to do some training? <laughs> Training, as in kicking, punching, stabbing. She does now because she's annoyed about the secret meetings. She wants to get her frustrations out. That's it's, it's okay. I mean, secrets aren't bad. You know, they're normal. She's saying that because she's keeping a secret. I figure sooner or later he's bound to show up with that crib looking for it. Ah, oh, but instead he finds a Buffy in a not so good mood. Well, hopefully Buffy and Faith in a not so brilliant mood. I took a hit at some real news. Angel's still alive. The vampire. Oh, she's going to go after him. I say I deal with this problem right now. I say I slay. Can I come? They're a great combination. Z Xander stirring the pot and Faith can uh, act on it. Could they get something funny to say? <laughs> uh. Spent the afternoon training with Faith. She's your first slayer, I take it. Hmm. Oh, that's, yeah, she would be, I suppose. I also have the glove. It's in a, a mansion on Crawford Street. A, a, a friend of Buffy's is keeping it there. Or better still, destroy it. How? It's complex, but uh, I believe I have all the necessary materials. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to go with Bad Guy. So, I assume she's after the glove, which she now knows where it is. You're not the one in trouble with Giles. That's true. Yet. And keeping secrets is a lot of work. One could hypothetically imagine. You have no idea. None whatsoever. Really not liking the overreaction she's doing to all the secret stuff. And nobody knew about it? Did that make it feel, you know, sexier somehow? Well, that kind of implies that she does find it sexy. Uh, with Xander, so... Uh. I want you to be the first to know that... that there's a demon behind you. <laughs> <laughs> he is a solid uh, demon, isn't he? Uh, 
need faith as well, by the looks of it. Ah. Use his own weapon. Again, improvising. Very good at that. Alright, ready to go? That I am. God, a vicious looking weapon. The one that Faith has. With this, it's like a baseball bat with a hook. What the hell happened? She let me guess. Oh, this Sue Angel. I'm thinking. Thinking Buffy's ex meat did this. It's not Angel style. The guy's a demon. How much more proof do you need? A bite marks would be nice. At least Xander's not jump into conclusions. The ex local tuo elementorum in hoc mundum weorum. So is he trying that spell that Giles said to destroy it? The glove? What happened? So your boyfriend's not as cured as you thought. Oh, well he is thinking it now. We saw what you saw. So you just assume? That's a big assumption. What did you tell her? Only what everyone knows. She's a big girl. Can't draw conclusions. Yeah, which you pointed her towards. What do you want? Gwen Post. Mr. Giles sent me. Where is the glove? In the trunk. She doesn't know he's a vampire. <laughs> it was supposed to kill you, but... Right. She can also improvise. Is she human? Oh, and of course. I can't how much I'm gonna kill you. You're not getting that glove. You wanna bet? So Faith thinks he's the bad guy. He doesn't know her. Oh, and she's a slayer. Ah. I know what the glove does. There's no time to test this. Oh, what does the glove do? Faith, no. Trust me. So you're saying trust her, but it's well done because she is going to trust her, but she shouldn't really. She shouldn't know her. You don't trust um, someone, I can't think of the word, but without any kind of evidence that you can trust them. Oh, this isn't going to help their relationship. Could have opened the door. Slayer versus Slayer fight. Last resource was Kendra. Whoa! Wow, that looks painful. Hey, a word of advice. You're an idiot. Oh, not really advice, more of a statement. Nice effect. They're going to work together now. Angel saved her. <laughs> Glove can't be removed. We can chop it off. Ooh. <laughs> that was quite cool. I'm assuming that means her arm is still <laughs> in the glove. Or was the glove destroyed? Little living flame, little mesquite. Gone for good. Sounds like we missed a lot of fun. Then we're telling it wrong. <laughs> Well, as long as she and Angel don't get pelvic, we'll be okay, I guess. Yeah, that is true. He's not my boyfriend. Really, truly, he's... He can't be. Let me guess. Gwendolyn Post, not a watcher. Kicked out by the council a couple of years ago. I swear there was a memo. Hmm. <laughs> if you didn't read it. The whole Angel thing is so weird. Yes, well, we'll have to see how that unfolds, won't we? Oh... He's not as forgiving as the others. Again, understandably. I think it's Buffy got a bruise, and I think Faith has as well. So it's still, yeah, two slayers fighting, bruised each other. You don't know we see that. It yeah, had us all fooled, even Giles. Yeah, well, you can't trust people. I should have learned that by now. Ah. Uh, so yeah, in the 
when we first saw Faith, she was on her own, fighting for her own, didn't trust anyone, doesn't uh, listen to anyone. Looks like she's with Giles has helped and Buffy there kind of she's been working together and now this is just gonna put her back to I'm on my own, don't trust anyone, so that's not gonna be good. I'm on my side, and that's enough. She is annoyed at Buffy, understandably, but she's probably also annoyed at herself because of that watcher and trusting her. That was a good episode and yeah, it was inevitable it was all gonna come out but Angel and it was all gonna blow up like that. Um, like I said, it was gonna happen um, in a previous episode. Um, it's a bit weird how they've all seem to have forgiven each other, except for Giles. I'll come to that in a second. Um, of course, I might just be saying that, um, but it's still probably bubbling under underneath. Um, I'm surprised Buffy's forgiven Xander so quickly and that Xander's forgiven Buffy so quickly. Um, yeah. The, what Giles said at the end then, I don't think he has... Uh, well, I was going to say don't think he's forgiven Buffy, but that might not be quite true. I think it's more that he hasn't forgiven Angel. Um so yeah I think we're going to see some more about that because they haven't met each other yet um Sander I don't completely disagree with everything he did he his life was at risk last time he did uh, except I don't think he did a lot of what he did in this episode out of fear and it was jealousy as well but that's not to say that it wasn't out of fear as well uh, it's just the way he he does it is annoys me this is better ways of handling things but again it's his way of doing it um, and yeah it didn't help the situation um, Interesting to see the uh, you near know, the Watcher. I think that's the first other one we've seen. We've heard of others, but I don't think we've seen another one. Um, how many of them are there? Sounds like there's a lot. And I would have thought, when she was sacked a couple of years ago, I would have thought he'd know about that. Surely there, there can't be that big an organisation. The watch, as far as I'm aware, the Watcher's only job is to guide the Slayer. And there can only be one Slayer at a time. Buffy is different. Um, so are there like... Uh, like Kendra was being trained from a very young age to be the Slayer until she actually did become. So does that mean there's lots, lots of different girls all over the world, I can't remember what country she was from, but um, are there lots of watchers training people who could be the Slayer one day? Because I know the Slayer is not meant to have a a long lifespan, unfortunately, so it could be that every year or so a new Slayer is needed. Um, but, yeah, I'm not quite sure how that works, but I still would have thought Charles would know that she was sacked. Um, I know you said there was a memo, but um, he obviously didn't see, didn't read it. But yeah, that's a bit. I don't quite get how that all works. Yeah, well, it'll be interesting to see what happens next episode. Now, now they all know about Angel. I'm assuming they're all gonna see, meet him, including Giles, and what's gonna happen then. So yeah, looking forward to the next episode. I think it'll be interesting. So let me know what you thought about this one in the comments below and I shall see you for the next episode. Be seeing you.